Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Yummy Arts Kitchen. Yay! Yay! Today we feature Monica Stout. We're actually in Monica's kitchen. This is my and, kitchen. Uh, and this is going to be an awesome. Where do you see this? It's, I am so excited. I'm, I'm always excited, but this one is particular, and you're going to find out why. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Monica Stout. Hello. Hi. I'm so glad you guys could join us this morning for our live dancing penguin cake. Um, nice. This is going to be my first time doing an extended live class on camera. I do live classes in classrooms and stuff, but this is a little different. So yeah. bear with me. Please ask questions because I can't talk for two and a half hours straight because yeah. I'll go crazy. Um, so ask questions so I don't have to talk the whole time. Um, stop me if something's not clear and I can, you know, go through and make it clearer. But um, Let's just dive right in. Excellent. So the first thing we're going to do, and the first thing I always do when I build a structured cake, is I have to sketch it out in my head. So I have to understand you know, what I'm going to do, and then I can kind of figure out the structure. So I've got my board. I'm going, to, I'm going to do it this way, and hopefully Scott can kind of see. And I'll hold this up once I get there. So I'm going to do, and I, I do rough because I'm not a great artist. So I've got my pumpkin, a pumpkin. Why did, where did that come from? I don't know. I've got my penguin. You said you weren't a great artist and that made me laugh because you oh, okay. are a great artist. Well, cake artist, different, different than drawing. Yes. Okay. Um, my husband is a, can draw and so he okay. draws everything for me. Um, so basically this is what I would start with is this is going to be my penguin. I want him, I want him standing, uh, this is my board. I want him standing on one leg. I want the other leg. You know, so he's like, ah, dancing. Yeah. dancing. So when I look at this, I got to figure out where my structure would go. So this one is a basic structure. It's going to be pretty easy. So I need a structure pole that goes straight up. And then I need something that comes off and supports the leg like this. I mean, it couldn't be any more basic than that. Cool. So you've got your structure here. This will be his foot, that'll be his other little foot. I've got my center pole structure and then structure that comes off this way. So once I've got this just kind of figured out in my head, just a rough sketch, then I have to go and I have to do it life size because I have to make sure that it's all gonna fit, it's all gonna work the way I want it to. So I'm also a graphic designer, so I do this on my computer. And um, so I went, I go through and I build myself a life-size structure of what this is going to be. So you can see here, this is my this is the base. Wow. The base of my board is actually here. But because I need to bury the flange, this is where the base of my landscape that he's standing on is going to be. So I want to show that so I know where his foot's going to start. So then I would use one PVC pipe here. I show my connectors, and here's the leg. And then I want to show where I'm going to put my boards, as well as my dowels. So I get very detailed with this, because I want to make sure it's completely structurally sound, and it's not going to fall. So this is what I have. So once I do this, I then take my baggie of goodies. I always have um, a ton of connectors, PVC pipe connectors. This is the half inch PVC pipe. I like it when I'm doing smaller structures like this because it's not so big and honking. Um, this is the size of the of the PVC is half inch. But you also do honking? I'll do honking and I'll do the, the bigger ones, the bigger PVC pipe if, if my structure, this is a fairly, you know, it's not too big of a structure and it's not branching out yeah. in every direction. And that's life size. This is the size it's going to be. Can we get a copy of that? Yes, I okay, will post excellent. a copy of this so excellent. you guys can see it um, and scale it. You know, if you want to, yeah. if you want your penguin to be this tall, scale it up and use the. Um, I guess it's a one-inch PVC pipe. This is the half inch. I always have a bunch of connectors so that when the time comes, I, I don't have to go specifically buy stuff. I know that Home Depot, our Home Depot, does not sell the half inch PVC. They only sell the inch, but Lowe's. Our Lowe's does. So just check where, where they have it. Some stores sell it. I'm sure, they have uh, it I'm sure you can too. get it online. Yeah, sure. um.